Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here at the range tonight doing a little bit of plinking, a little bit of shooting. And uh, I wanted to try to do the new challenge put up by Eli over at, e e Eli over at dayattherange.com. And uh, what his new challenge is, is he's calling it the fly swatter challenge. And uh, we have a target with uh, 25, well, 25 actual targets. He's got some spotters up here at the top, but you get one shot at each fly and your shot has to touch the body to count as a point. And uh, what I am going to be using for this attempt is uh, a pretty cool old gun. Uh, this is one of my military trainers uh, from way back in the day. Uh, this particular gun is a Stevens Model 416. And uh, I think it was Stevens' uh, attempt to answer the uh, 52, the Model 52. Um, <clears throat> the military did buy these. This one is actually U.S. property marked. It's got a little bomb right there. Um, and uh, I have it topped off with a JW Fecker scope. I'll make sure you enunciate that very well. <laughs> um, and uh, the scope, I believe, is a 12 power. I have two of these uh, Fecker scopes. Um, they're both very old ones. Uh, the first couple of years, uh, they started production in the early 20s. In the first couple of years, they did not mark these scopes with the power uh, that they were uh, set up with. But uh, this one, I have a, a Nerdle 14X scope, and this one is very close to that power. Um, but according to my scope uh, book that I have, Fecker did not uh, ever produce a uh, did not ever produce a 14x in this size scope so they had a 12 and they had a 16 but this one doesn't seem like a 16 uh, so this is the one that's a, kind of a lower power my, my other one seems like it's a higher magnification than my 14x inertle so I'm guessing this one is a 12 it's very close to the magnification of that uh, the magnification of that uh, 14X inertle. So anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll give it a try. Uh, I am gonna be using uh, Gecko Match. And we're supposed to take five minutes to shoot the competition. Uh, I only have one magazine for this gun though, so I'm going to have to stop and start the timer quite a bit. <laughs> and. Uh, and reload, but uh, if I can hit a, a couple of flies, I'll be very happy with this guy. Um, this, it's it's a very accurate shooter. It can shoot nice, nice tight little groups, but uh, to hit that little tiny fly, it's like 0.2 inches wide and about 0.3 or 0.35 inches high. Um, so to be that dead on pinpoint accurate it is going to be pretty tough. So. Let's go ahead and uh, chamber around and we'll start our timer. All righty. Shot number one. Oh, jeez. That's not starting out good. Oh, get closer. I think that might be a hit. Pretty darn close. That's definitely a hit. Well, I got one anyway, or two, maybe. All right. All right, that was good. So let me stop that for a minute. I don't do well with these timed trials. <laughs> My heart gets going and that really throws off your shots. So I need to calm down, 
take a breath. <laughs> so it looks like I've got maybe three out of that first mag. That's that's not bad. At least two, I know. Okay. Start it back up again. Oh, geez. Getting close, so close. did much better in practice. Right. Oh well, we're having fun, right? <laughs> Jeez. Oh boy. I will try this with a few other guns too, but uh, I don't think I've ever done a, a video on this one, at least not a separate shooting video with it. But uh, let's try to get a few more here. and the fly down below it. Oh my goodness. Maybe. Keeping within the time, it looks like. Under three minutes on the first three magazines. Magazine. Me not very close, Jeepers. that go? No. I don't know if the barrel's starting to heat up on me or what here, but that was a good hit. Well, might have three or four or five. Maybe. All right, stop this guy. Whew. Get your heart, get your heart a going. <laughs> Might have four or five there. There's a lot of close ones. I 
I mostly just wanted to get this guy out and shoot it. I was thinking about just doing a review video on it, but uh, I thought it'd be fun to try it out with this uh, with this challenge. I didn't expect it to be the top of the leaderboard, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool and pretty neat to try out for it. So let's start this back up and get the last five down there. Nope. Maybe. Pretty close anyway. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good one. If I can at least get, get six, I'll be above uh, Eli, e, Eli's, Eli, Eli's. Uh... First score, so. Yeah, I made it. 459.33. <laughs> ha ha. Alrighty. So, stand by. Let me go grab that target, and we'll see if I uh, hit any of them. Stand by. Alrighty, I am back. Uh, it's not looking as promising as I thought it might, but uh, I think uh, I think I might have four or five anyway. So let's see. One is a no. Two is a no. Three is a no. Four is a yes. Five, I just tagged him on the butt. That's a good shot. Six is a no. Seven's a no. Eight's a no. Nine's a no. Ten's a no. 11 is a yes, 12 is a definite no, <laughs> 13 is a no, 14 is a no, 15 is a no, 16 is no, 17, 18, 19 is a yes, 20 is a yes, the headshot, 21 is no, let me see here, that one, um, no, that one's a no, 22 is a no, 23 is a yes, 24 is a yes, and 25 is a no. So let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, seven hits, a lot of really close ones. If they were counting wings and feet, I'd probably have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. I'd have seven more if they were counting wings and feet, mostly wings. But uh, let's see. So that is uh, seven kills. Not bad for a 1941 vintage uh, military trainer that's probably been used a bazillion times. Uh, they they wore the daylights out of these guys. And just to confirm, uh, here is my my time. Uh, oh, where'd it go? Oh, crud. Oh, there it is. Four minutes, 59 seconds, 33.33. Couldn't have got closer if I tried. <laughs> but uh, seven confirmed kills. Puts me on the second from the bottom of the leaderboard, but at least I'm not at the bottom. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I haven't been saying that a lot lately, but uh, hope you guys uh, do like it. Till next time, have a great day.